Primary and secondary solves control. Primary is the first in a group or series, that which is placed ahead of others. Secondary, meaning succeeding next in order to the first, of second place, origin or rank, not primary, subordinate, not of the first order of rate, of less than primary importance. My question to you is why do most people focus on secondary solids control, the centrifuge, if there is a mud weight issue, and forget about the shale shakers or the primary solids control? As defined earlier, the solids control equipment works in series. If the shale shakers are not properly maintained and optimized, there will be more pressure put upon the centrifuge. When this happens, the level of success the centrifuge will have is greatly diminished. The average perception out there when this happens is that the centrifuge is a piece of you know what. We recently heard some information from a reputable mud company that mentioned that still to this day 90% of their solid control issues with mud are to do with shale shakers. That only leaves about 10% of all solids control issues to be contributed to the centrifuge and mud tanks. If you were looking for an area to improve upon, the shale shakers would be definitely give you the largest opportunity to improve. But shaker screens are expensive or the tool push doesn't want us to change them. These are common excuses that we hear on a regular basis. The cost of three to six screens which is probably less than $5,000 on the high end, is insignificant to the cost of your $100,000 or $250,000 mud system, not to mention more. As mentioned in a previous article, the decrease in mud weight will have an increase in your ROP, which will make up for the cost of the screens in short order. Stay tuned for more articles about shale shaker optimization and operation. If you found value in this article, please forward to your colleagues and friends. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you and have a great day.